play Who's the Musician? Who's the Musician? Two weeks after this musician was born, there was a new king of England. That king was James II. There were no electric guitars or ukuleles back in this musician's day. He had to sneak to his attic to play his clavichord pictured here. In fact, his father wasn't a big fan of his musical ambitions and he had to sneak up to the attic to play any form of music. This musician was actually born in Germany, but he came to London with the very generous salary offer of £200 he received from Queen Anne when he moved here in 1712. Top hits include Zadok the Priest, the Hallelujah Chorus, and an opera, Rinaldo, not the footballer. Any guesses at all? It was, of course, George Frederick Handel. Here he is in all his glory. Let's play Can You Beat It? Can You Beat It is a body percussion game. Uh, so get up on your feet, uh, make sure you're in nice comfy clothes uh, and that you don't have any expensive vases or expensive furniture near you because we're going to be moving about a lot doing lots of fun rhythms. First of all, we've got to warm ourselves up. So we're gonna do a very simple exercise where I'm going to do a rhythm using different parts of my body, like this, stamping as well. Uh, and you're gonna copy it. When I go like this, that's when you do the rhythm, okay? Let's do a simple one to start with. Here we go. Understand? Brilliant. So let's give it a go.
well done. Let's move on to our next drill. So now I've got three rhythms for you on the theme of breakfast and I've got my trusty helpers uh, with me now. Okay, the first one is baked beans on toast and it goes like this. Baked beans on toast. Baked beans on toast. Baked beans on toast. Baked beans on toast. Good. Try saying the words with uh, your body percussion and then when we do the final performance, we'll take those words away. Just a reminder, the first one goes like this. Baked beans on toast. Baked beans on toast. Now over to you guys. So the next one goes like this. Coffee, tea and orange juice. 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 Likewise, say those words with you, doing the body percussion, and then take it, those words away. Here it is again. Coffee, tea and orange juice. Coffee, tea and orange juice. Over to you. Fantastic. So the last one that we need to learn goes like this. Croissants with jam. Croissants with jam. Croissants with jam. Croissants with jam. Likewise, say the words so you get this rhythm and then take those words away. One more time. Croissants with jam. Croissants with jam. Brilliant, so it doesn't matter whether you're in the classroom, on your own at home, or with your family, you can do these, and you can either do them one at a time, take it in turns, or, or if you're in groups of three, or get someone else to do, come and do one of the other rhythms uh, as a bit of a challenge to try not to put you off. Good luck, here's the performance. Let's play What Do You Hear? What music do you hear? What instruments do you hear? Are there any voices? If so, what are they singing? Is it a happy piece of music or sad? Where would you hear this type of music? A stadium? A church? A concert hall?
Pause the video and think about your answers. This is a piece called The Hallelujah Chorus by George Frederick Handel. Handel composed it in 1741 as part of a bigger piece called The Messiah. It is part of something called an oratorio, which is a large musical composition for orchestra, choir and soloists. Unlike opera or musical theatre, an oratorio is considered a concert piece, but still has the characters and soloists that you might get in opera. The words for oratorios are sacred, so from texts in the Bible. This makes them different from operas again, as operas can involve stories from ancient history, have romance, and sometimes even involve murder. Hopefully you heard lots of instruments from the orchestra, like violins and cellos, trumpets, and even the drum called the timpani. You're unlikely to hear this piece of music in a stadium. You're more likely to hear it in a cathedral, church or concert hall as part of a big concert. Maybe you can be in the audience listening to this piece one day. It's time to sing your heart. Today we are going to learn a round. What's a round? I'm glad you asked. A round is when several people sing the same melody, but at different times. You might have heard of London's Burning, when we, we sing from the beginning, but we stagger it so people sing it at different times. Same melody though, okay? So we're gonna sing that today. We're gonna to sing a round. I'm going to sing it, and then my trusty helper here is gonna be the echo, all right? The echo is gonna be you guys copying it back, okay? So this is the first phrase. We'll do it phrase by phrase, nice and slowly. Here we go. We love Singing together, we love singing together any time of day, any time of day. We like to sing the blues, we like to sing the blues and sometimes jazz and sometimes jazz swinging in this way swinging in this way and when we harmonize and when we harmonize it's a nice surprise it's a nice surprise and then we say Hey, and then we say, hey. Brilliant, that's all it is, okay? So now let's do it two phrases at a time, okay? Two lines at a time. So I'm gonna sing it, and then my trusty helper, you guys are gonna copy uh, at the same time that he sings, okay? So here we go. We love singing together any time of day we love singing together any time of day we like to sing the blues 
and sometimes jazz. We like to sing the blues and sometimes jazz. Swinging in this way, swinging in this way. And when we harmonize, it's a nice surprise. And when we harmonize, it's a nice surprise. And then we say, hey. And then we say, hey. Well done. You're doing a really good job. Now, can you do it as a round? Okay. You're going to see the words come up on the screen for you. Okay. You guys have got to sing it and try not to be put off by the other parts, okay? We all sing it through together once, and then you'll hear the other voices come in after the first voice has started singing again. Give it your best go. Good luck. One, two, three, four. We love Singing together any time of day We like to sing the blues and sometimes jazz Swinging in this way And when we harmonize it's a nice surprise And then we say hey We love singing together any time of day we like to sing we the blues love and singing sometimes together swinging in this of day, day and we like when we sing the blues and sometimes together singing in this day, day, and, day and we like to sing the blues and sometimes together swinging in this way we like to harmonize, it's a nice surprise. Any time we say, we like to sing the blues. It's a nice surprise. Any time we say, we like to sing the blues. It's a nice surprise. Any time we say, we like to harmonize. It's a nice surprise. And then we say, hey, yeah. Four of the most famous notes in history from Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. But are you up for the challenge of learning them yourself? On your instrument? Or even a vocal arrangement of it? Why not do a performance of those four notes and send them in to me or your teacher? Are you up for the challenge? Thank you for watching. That's the end of our lesson. If you click subscribe, you'll get notified when the next lesson is uploaded. See you next time. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.